Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Daily IoT. Happy Monday. It's actually still Friday when I'm filming this, but you'll see it on Monday. And this is the episode that we've all been waiting for. And by we all, I mean me for sure. We have Trinket to Pi RFM69 communication up and running. Finally had the breakthrough, figured everything out on the trinket that I needed to figure out and on the Raspberry Pi. And so let's go straight to the footage of how we got there. All right, got to get to the bottom of this and figure out what the heck is going on um, with the trinket. Just got to figure it out. So that's what we're going to do right now. Okay. So I've only got five pins on the trinket that I can use. Three of them I need for SPI. I need the clock, the master in slave out, and the master out slave in pins. Those are on one side of the trinket. On the other side, I only have two GPIO pins. One is for the slave select for the RFM module. The other is for the interrupt, uh, I think, which is how the module says, hey, I've got data for you to process. Uh, so it needs to be configured as an input. And reading the documentation again, those two pins that I have left over are both used for USB communication. One of them has a 1.5K pull-up resistor to 3.3 volts. That pin is not going to be good for input because it's got a pull-up resistor. It's always going to be pulled up. And so right now the way I have it is I'm using that input pin for my um, IRQ, which is the input, and so I'm going to switch them. I'm going to take the, the one, use it for output, and the other one for input. That got confusing. Anyway, I think I'm using the wrong one as an input pin. I'm going to try and switch them, see what happens. That didn't help any. So it's really time to get the logic analyzer out. See if we can find something with that. I think we're making some progress. Despite checking it like seven times, I swapped the master in, slave out, master out, slave in, however those are. It's late, I'm getting tired. I swapped the input and output pins for the SPI bus and seeing a lot better results in the logic analyzer now. The IRQ is being pulled down. Looks like everything's communicating well on this end. And so I, 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 think, I think that the trinket might actually be transmitting at this point. The data looks good. The Pi is not receiving anything. So I think it's time to hook the logic analyzer up to that end and see what we get. It's 1.11 a.m. It's not happening tonight. I just can't seem to get the Pi to play nicely. It's just not coming together, so get some sleep, take a look at it with fresh eyes tomorrow. I woke up this morning laying in my bed and I had the thought, I think I know what's wrong. And I was right. I can't believe I made this mistake. I'd be more upset if it was like one o'clock in the morning like last night, but I got a good night's sleep. So I'm feeling better this morning. Ground issue, my goodness, I just talked about this like a few episodes ago. Tip on these long breadboards, make sure that you've connected the strips all the way across if you're gonna use the power strips. And it bit me. I'm using one of these stinking long breadboards where the power rails don't connect all the way to the end. I was grounding the RFM module on the side of the breadboard that was not connected to the other side where I had a positive ground. I literally moved a jumper five pins over so it crossed the bridge, properly grounded, and I don't know if you can see this, but I'm gonna try to zoom in here. I got packets coming through. Which is amazing. We have Comlink. Okay, and that's how we got to where we are now, which is super exciting. The Comlink is working and you can't see it, but the signals are flying all over the room right now. Trinket RFM to Raspberry Pi RFM, successfully working. I'm really pumped about it. Uh, the takeaway from this is don't stay up until one o'clock in the morning working on a project. 
you're not going to be thinking straight and you're going to miss something simple. And that is what happened to me. So, uh, but really push through this. You're going to hit these rock, these rock, these brick walls sometimes in projects. You got to push through. It comes down to making the unknowns known. I had a manager that used to tell me that. Make the unknowns known. And that was, you know, we got the logic analyzer out and started probing around, figuring these things out step by step until we finally got to the point where everything was working. And so it was really exciting. Um, next up, I'm going to tighten down the firmware on the trinket and look at the Pi. I've got two versions of the code running on the Pi. I've got a C++ version of the RFM69 gateway as well as a Node.js version. I'm gonna sneeze, hold on. That came on fast. And so I need to pick one of those. The Node.js version seems a little more flaky for some reason. I'm not sure the C++ version is rock solid. So I uh, need to figure out that, clean it up, clean up the code, the mess of wires, figure out how I'm gonna uh, make it a little bit more presentable and then I can start working on this piece up here to get the text going and so a lot of exciting things coming up in the project um, that should not take as long as this com link but man it feels good it feels good when you've spent that much time and then it finally comes together and works uh, man it feels amazing and so I am gonna now go and celebrate with a giant bowl of ice cream so question of the day what's your favorite flavor of ice cream would love to hear about it in the comments. And uh, otherwise, I hope everybody is having an amazing Monday and has a great week. And I appreciate you watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.